This is Klaus OD. I'm gonna be giving you a guide for Ferals in Legion. Um, Alright, first of all, your stat priority. I would highly recommend focusing on uh, Mastery in Critical Strike because um, we all depend on bleeds in this expansion. We need nothing else but bleeds. Um, we don't do much damage, instant damage like bite because it does 100k damage, which is sad. Um, yeah, um, for the talents, I would recommend Lunar Inspiration because our mobility got nerfed. So if someone is kiting you, you would just spam it until you get combo points. So when you connect, you would just do a finisher. So you won't lose um, any pressure. Um, I wouldn't recommend Blood Sand because it only gives you 10% critical strike on people with bleed. Predator is not recommended unless you're doing PvE. Because um, it resets tag of fury when someone dies. And you most probably when someone dies in the arena, they will probably leave. Say GG. Um second tier I would go with wild charge. Because I don't know, for me I shapeshift a lot in the arena and basically if someone's kiting me I would just go root him with bear and just kill him. Or if someone is trying to chase me and once you connect to me, I would just use the leap with the uh, travel form. Or sometimes I just want to connect with my healer and just use it. But it depends on how you play, but I would prefer that. Um, for the third tier, I would recommend the Restoration Affinity. Lots of people play with Guardian, but I personally like Restore Affinity because, um, you know, most of the healers get CC'd in the arena and all you want to do is like heal your off DPS, right? Um, like your DPS, like if your healer is getting CC'd all the time, you just spam regrowth on Swiftment, give him like a hot rejuvenation. So I would recommend that. Maybe you go that if you're certain that people will go on you. Um, for the next tier talent, I would go with Mighty Bash. Um, you don't need Roost, you got instant wounds. Um, Typhoon? If you want to be cheesy and just use it in Blades Age Arena to knock people off, it can help sometimes. It helped me a couple of times. Not all the time though. Alright, next tier talent. I would highly recommend Incarnation. Savage World got nerfed as hell. Because it used to be 40% um, increased damage, now it's 25 and the duration got reduced by a lot. So, yeah, if you Really willing to spend 5 combo points on 24 duration, 25 extra damage. You would just be busy keeping Savage Roar up, which is gonna be hard when you go with Jagged Ones, which I will explain later. So the forest people do it for, for more sustained damage. Um I prefer Incarnation to do this bursty. I do sustain I sustain my damage, but I would prefer Incarnation just to give them a burst every once in a while. Faster to targets. <laughs> um, for the next one, I would go with Jagged Runes. Um, because our bleeds are like 400k damage, and you gonna get them in 16 seconds, around 16 seconds. Right, yeah. 400k damage in 16 seconds is not bad, to be honest. Especially if you're putting it on 3 targets. That's lots of damage. I wouldn't recommend the Loons Guidance unless you're doing PvE, even Saber Tooth. Meh. Um, for the last talent, I would recommend Blood Talents because, you know, you start Arena before regrowthing yourself, get that percent increased damage for 2 hits. And when you have it on, like, building combo points, for example, you bleed, you keep the regrowth broke, right? And then you would just use regrowth, you got damage, then you got one more, you put bleeds. More bleed damage, that's for sure. Takes way harder. Alright, for the honor talents. Um Gladiator's Medallion, that's for sure for the first one. Second one I would highly recommend reinforced armor. It's not bad. You would you can choose sparring if you're playing versus two millies, like cleaves and stuff. Um for the third one, Protector of the Grove is really good. Because you need to be fast. And it always, it will always quit. So, really good. 
like always creating 50% less gas time. You will need it if your friend or if your mate is in big trouble in a critical situation, your healers kinda succeed. Like five regrowth in like I don't know in three seconds or so. It's not bad. Or four seconds. It's really good. Well freedom of the head. I would always use this instead of what well, bouncing strike got nerfed. 7.1 and they change it from rake to maim and rip and maim and rip have five yards it doesn't leave to the target anymore so we have more issues in um, connecting to our target so i would choose freedom of the head because feral has shit mobility and you need to stay on the target as much as you can final vitality is not i wouldn't recommend that well same thing goes for here king of the jungle because if you have three bleeding target you'll get four percent extra movement speed and damage which is good because you will always have bleeds on three targets. I mean, 16% of damage and movement speed is not bad. It's good for mobility and pressure. Surge momentum, you'll always use it because if you kick a healer in a critical situation, it will just refresh the uh, target's fury, which means more pressure on the healer or whoever is casting. Um, yeah, but that's it. Alright, how to play Feral in Arena in threes? I would show you how I play um, before the arena starts I would cast a regrowth on me you know just to get the blood talent for example this is DPS DPS and the healer right if you go open on him that is my main target I would put Ashman's frenzy break and rip right they so have three dots on him you would go for the other one right I would stun him rip him and I would use my target's fury still on the healer on the healer for a bit. That you have three dots fast. Basically you don't use bite at all. Because like I find it weird, but bite does 100 k damage. Where shred deals 100 or 93k damage. Doesn't make sense because like like builder combo deals more damage than the finisher. So bite's not recommended at all. Just keep your dots on three targets and that's what you're supposed to do i'll feel your mates don't go deep just play safe dot los dot los go back heal dot los because you're not good when you're beside the target you can't do anything if you have bleeds on him just don't sit beside him unless you're bursting that's it like um, unless you're bursting you can't do anything really yep but that's the real for now. I hope you learned something. And please like, share, leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to do. What you want me to show you in my next video. Alright. Thanks a lot.